are going thrifting today. I'm excited. I'm gonna go meet up with one of my friends at San Jose and it is quite hot this weekend. So little outfit of the day. It is a bucket hat to keep me cool in the shade from the sun. I think I worded that weirdly. Put my hair in two pigtails, which I kind of regret. I wish I braided them, but of course I'm running late. This tube top that I've had for quite a while now that my friend gave to me, these thrifted shorts that I got from Depop and my pumas and then my canvas bag so I can carry a water bottle. So we're gonna drive to San Jose, go to the thrift stores over there. I've never been thrifting over there. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. This one for my back. I think so. I just love it. I know. Look what I found in this book. I'm so cool. I think I'm gonna get it. We're going to these are all dresses, dress, dresses. Okay, so far, that's a yes, that's a maybe, and these are no. It feels like really silky too, so I like it. That is so cute. Like, I like the shape of it. You know, you are really into polka dots. I know! <laughs> I don't know. I feel like you will not wear it. Because I, I don't like that it's like tight like that. Yeah, no, I... It's cute, but I feel like it's that one is a no. If it was like a pants, like, you know, like flowy at the end, I would totally get it. Hello everyone, this is Amy. Hello. <laughs> I, I forgot to introduce her. Wait, I look like very like a potato. <laughs> no, it looks so cute. This is Amy, we went with me. Yeah, I'm actually leaving. It's, it's late now. Yeah. But we had a lot of fun. Well, it's not super late. It's not super late, but, but I have to drive back. Yes. And I have to make dinner. Mm -hmm. But you'll was, probably see her again. It was a fun day. It was. Lots there was of a lot of, mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, the dress, the the red. The red one. The red one. The red one was very cute. I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> oh, and the green one too. Oh my gosh. Oh, the green one. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is the next day. <laughs> Last night I got home a little bit late and I was really tired and I just had some dinner and it was also kind of dark for me to actually do the thrift haul. So we're doing it today. Let's start off with something that I did not get yesterday, but on Saturday I went to go sell some of my clothes, some of my partner's clothes to Crossroads and got some store credit and I got myself a pair of flared jeans. Oh, they're so cute. They fit perfect. I've been wanting a pair of flared jeans since last year and I just really enjoyed them. When I was younger, I loved wearing flared jeans. I don't know why they reminded me of butterflies for some reason. Even to this point, anytime I think of flared jeans, I think butterflies. And I used to have a really nice pair of flared jeans when I was younger, but I ended up donating them when I was in college because I felt very self conscious that I was wearing these jeans and like no one else was. And honestly, I regret so much 
getting rid of them they were so cute my mom had given them to me um they used to be hers like a lot of the clothes that she would pass down to me and they tied at the bottom like kind of laced at the bottom and it was they were so cute i regret that i have but it's okay we moved on and i know better now i now know that if i like something even if it's not trendy i'm gonna keep using it because I like it and I feel comfortable in it. I got these at Crossroads and they are a size 30 from Log. They're H&M jeans. Ha! They were $18.50. So that's pretty nice because I saw a pair on Depop that I really liked. They were like $40 on there plus shipping and like any fees and stuff like that. So I'm glad I actually waited. Before I go into what I thrifted, I want to show y'all what I thrifted in Amy's closet because she was getting rid of some clothes and she asked me to go through her um, clothes and see if there was anything I liked and picked out a few things. Amy, thank you so much. First off, I got this vase from her. I think it's a vase. Um, it's so cute and I don't need any more vases at home but you know I always have plants so I also think I'm just gonna take this to work and have it as a decoration at work since I'm trying to decorate my office a little bit more so I think I'm gonna take this to work I also got this basket from her definitely could put like a plant pot I do have a plant that will fit in here that's at work so I am taking this for work specifically that's why i got it this stand thing at first i thought it was like that but i'm pretty sure it's like this i put a plant here and a little bowl on the bottom and it's super cute and it will keep my plants from being directly on the floor so i enjoy it another ceramic she also really likes ceramics <laughs> another little ceramic bowl i also got this cute little yellow shirt because Honestly, yellow is just my color. It is in a size small, so I was a little bit hesitant that it wasn't gonna fit me, but it's very stretchy and it actually looks really nice. It's a really nice summer shirt, but it's also a very good transitional color for the fall as well. And I also got this little tank from her. It's a ripped material tank tops. I started to really appreciate them this year. I actually bought a few at the beginning of spring so I could layer them and I wear them a lot so I am glad I have another one to my collection and this one's nice because it's not like a neutral color it's actually like a pop of color even though it's on the like more pale side so it's a little bit easier to style it is a really nice basic to have and like I said I enjoy it thank you so much Amy I will cherish these items my thrift haul I spent a total of $72.99 at Savers. So that's the thrift haul we went to. First off, let's start off with the items that are not clothes. So I got this mug, another mug. I <laughs> really want it for the house. I feel like I would have so much fun drinking my coffee in this. But at the same time, I would love this for work. Thing is that if I take it for work, I won't use it as a mug because I always take my little traveler mug, my thermal. I like to make my coffee at home. So I don't know if I actually would use it to drink. The way I thought of using it was putting my string of hearts that I have there. And I think it would be very, very cute, but it's still undecided. And then this, this one is a very fun story. I actually started reading it. I got this book, this thrifted book. So I originally bought a book for a Halloween costume that I have in mind that my partner and I are going to be going as. But when I saw this book, I was just so called to it. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It was just there and I saw it and it just looks so aesthetic to begin with. And then I opened it and I opened it to a random page and it had these little clippings in it and it's basically just an article that's called why we all have ups and downs why be a victim of your own emotional cycles i don't know it was just kind of like intense and <laughs> and then i closed it and i'm just like what is what is the title i don't even know what the title is so i look at the side and it's called how to stop worrying and start living and it's by dale carnegie i don't know it just felt kind of like fate i i don't <laughs> it sounds so cheesy now that i'm saying it out loud but it's, it just called out to me and when i showed it to amy she even said like oh you need to get it so 
I got it. Before I got it, I actually had read like the first few pages and I was just so intrigued by it. This is what sold me, this little paragraph. It says, you didn't pick up this book to read about how it was written. You're looking for action. All right, let's go. And I'm just like, well, I picked up this book just randomly and then just reading that kind of was just like, huh, okay, for sure I'm gonna read it. So I love thrifting and finding what people especially with books what people write in their books this one's annotated too i'm so happy <laughs> with this purchase and i just wanted to say i forgot this was 3.99 and this was 149 those were the items i bought now moving on to clothes remember when i said this in my last video and i have a limit of how many dresses i can have apparently doesn't matter the first item is this cute little suede brown brown suede overall dress it is adorable and i actually had something similar in my cart in depop because i have been wanting something like this basically and it was $50 okay $50 for that and I'm just like okay let me just wait who knows maybe I can find something at the thrift store or maybe I'll find something like I'll find an alternative cheaper on Depop or if it's gonna be $50 see if I can like just actually buy it new because I'm already gonna be spending a lot of money on it I'm glad I waited because here's another item that I almost bought on Depop for much cheaper than what it would have been and it is gorgeous again this is definitely very very fall i'm pretty sure you could wear it in the summer but the color and the material is just screams fall and it's such a good transitional piece because it's a dress and i'm able to pair it up with long sleeves with short sleeves it just it makes sense <laughs> this is by pie in the sky in a size large and it was 11.79 so i like i said i am glad i waited to buy it okay my next piece is this very yellow summery dress oh boy this is just a mood it is so long so so long it makes me feel like okay i already live in a beach town so but it makes me feel like i live in a very tropical area when i put it on it is absolutely gorgeous i love the material it's so flowy it's so cute and it's a wrap dress i love wrap items my only problem with wrap items is that i don't have the, <laughs> the boobs for wrap items they're either too big or too small on me and there's no perfect fitting but this one has a little button that allows the wrap dress to stay closed and i won't be flashing anyone and it's just so secure and it's so nice i thought i could wear this in the fall which i can maybe with a sweater over it or something like that but it's definitely very much a summer dress and it actually still has its tag it says it's from rocco rock Ro rocco Rococo, 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 and it's in a size large and it's $16.99. I don't know what the actual retail price is, but I think it's a steal considering that maxi dresses, they're never under $20 whether it's from like fast fashion places or even like on depop and stuff like that you never see maxi dresses for less than 20 dollars it's a lot of material so i think that was a pretty big steal next dress this is the dress that amy fell in love with and honestly I, when i saw it i'm just like yes this is everything here's another summer transition ball dress it is in this like burnt orange red kind of color it is so gorgeous it's flowy it is easily layered and it's adjustable from the back too so whether i gain weight or lose weight i'm able to adjust it from the back and i think that's amazing it is not as long as the yellow dress but it is still a maxi dress and it is so nice and this is why i think it's such a great transitional piece because i can wear it right now that it's 90 degrees today which for me by the way that's really hot for where we live but it's 90 degrees and i could wear this today if i wanted to or i could wear it when it's much colder whether it's layered with a turtleneck or a long sleeve at the bottom and i think it would be great i can wear it with sandals or with boots i just 
I'm so excited for this dress. I'm so excited for all of these items. I wish they were clean so I could start wearing them, but I did. I just did laundry and I don't want to do another load so soon. This dress is from, I don't think it has a tag actually to say where it's from. It was 1049 by the way, it was 1049. This gorgeous dress is 1049. Again, I saw something similar to this on Depop that I wanted and it was a lot more expensive there. So I am so glad I waited. Here is another dress, another maxi dress in all white. It is slightly big on me, but I don't mind it because that means I can layer it if I wanted to. If it was much tighter, then it would be a little bit harder to layer because this is a more fitted dress. And the problem with it is that while it looks a little bit big on me, it's mostly just the straps. They're not adjustable, so I do have to tailor it a little bit. But again, I feel like a simple white dress like this, it is good for any season, for the fall, for the winter, summer, spring. It is just a good basic to have in your closet. I can wear it for the summer just as is. I could wear it in the spring with a cute summery cardigan. I can wear it in the fall with a heavier cardigan or a turtleneck. And then I can wear it in the winter again with a turtleneck, a little bit more winter colors, less fall colors. I think it's just a really good piece to have and I am so, so excited for it. And the back is nice as well. It kind of cuts down in the back. And this dress is from me, Amy, me, Amy. Hi, Amy. And it's in a size large. It was $9.99. So again, a steal in my opinion. We have come to the last piece of my thrift haul. I put a lot of stuff in my cart when I went thrifting, but I actually had to really narrow down what I wanted because it was just way too much clothes and I think I was just overly excited to be thrifting in a new place. So I really had to think through if I would wear some stuff and or not. So there are some items where I'm just a little bit sad that they either didn't work out because they fit too small or they just didn't fit the way I wanted to. Or there were these very basic shirts that I had to leave behind because I prefer to get the dresses over the shirts because it's easier for me to find basics in other stores and other places, but it's harder for me to find dresses at that price with that type of style. So I opted out for dresses. I went a little bit on a tangent there, but my last item. Oh boy, is this a very interesting find if I do say so myself. So it's this piece. It looks very formal, honestly, and kind of gives me a little bit of grandma vibes, but what attracted me to it was the color. It is this gorgeous pale color that again, perfect for springtime and summer and fall, maybe not winter, or maybe even winter. Green is very wintry. What I am very proud of myself for doing is that I liked the color and I liked the pieces individually. So I thought, what if I separated them? Because for me personally, I don't like it together as much but I know some people would. But separate, it is just a whole different style. It is a gorgeous, another, <laughs> just another gorgeous maxi dress with the slit in the front. It is so nice just to wear like that again for the spring and summer. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's another dress I could layer, I could make much warmer. And then the little blazer that goes on top, I think the detailing is just so, so cute. It is just this cutest little thing, the embroidery, the buttons, everything is just so cute. And I feel this with jeans and a white crop or even like a pink crop top, anything that matches like the colors that it has, I feel like would look super, super cute. Like I said, separate, I really just loved it. Together, not my favorite, but separate, I loved it. And I feel like for these specific outfits, they were just completely overlooked because together it looked like it was attached and it just it didn't seem appealing but i'm so glad i actually stopped and got it it's just i'm so happy this one's from rj and co petite it's a, and it was 11.99 all of these dresses were under 20 dollars and all of them except for one were under 12 dollars so i'm very 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 happy with this i 
have been wanting to get maxi dresses for the longest so i think i went a little bit too crazy with the maxi dresses but i love each and each piece individually i think they all are all very unique and they're all different colors and my wardrobe is very neutral right now i don't have a lot of purple color so i feel like with this bit of color i'm able to just mix and match with the neutral basics that i already have at home so i am very 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 excited i can't wait until i'm able to wear them all out in outfits and stuff like that i do have one last piece that's coming in the mail from depop i did say i bought another maxi dress <laughs> I wish I waited. I wish I waited, but I really liked it. It's a green gingham, 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 a green gingham dress. So I will insert a clip here of what it looks like and all of the details about it once I actually receive it in the mail later on this week. This is my Depop dress. I am so so super excited. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's a gingham green maxi dress another one i really didn't think it through when i went thrifting but it's okay because this is another very much staple piece i feel like it's so timeless it's vintage and it's just because of the color and because of the type of uh pattern i feel like it's very easy to just wear it throughout the whole year in the summer in the spring in the fall you just have to accessorize it and layer it for different occasions and it's just gorgeous i love the little button detailing it has in the front and it has a tie in the back so it molds to my body and it's so flattering it genuinely just feels like it was made for me it's absolutely gorgeous i love it the seller i got it from I believe her name is Jenna G. Liv. I will put the handle somewhere up here. And a super nice seller, very, very fast shipping. I was very, very happy with this. I'm very excited for this dress. But yeah, that's basically it. I have a whole new wardrobe. <laughs> I have so much clothes that, well, it feels like a lot of clothes because it's so many dresses or my bad it's so many like so much material it's a lot of maxi dresses so i i'm very very happy with my purchase i love that all of these can just be worn interchangeably throughout any season basically and because they are dresses they are very transitional pieces that i can wear throughout any season so i am very excited for all of these pieces i'm very very excited for my flared jeans i've been wanting flared jeans ever since i let those pair that one pair of jeans go i regret it instantly when i donated them and was not able to get them back so <laughs> i'm I know better now. I know that I am going to continue wearing stuff that I am happy and comfortable in no matter if it's trendy or not. This is why I'm not getting rid of clothes that is not trendy anymore. I just get rid of clothes that either doesn't fit me well or I just don't feel comfortable or I genuinely just don't wear. Basically, that is it. Big, big, big shout out to Amy who, if it wasn't for her, would we would not have a thrifting vlog to begin with because I, your lovely host, forgot to actually film. I would forget a lot to film. So a lot of those clips are thanks to Amy who uh, would take out her phone and would film me randomly. So thank you so much, you're the best. And check out her YouTube channel. I love, love her editing and her Instagram. She's so aesthetic. She's the one who got me into plants, by the way, so this is all her. <laughs> so yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for following me along. I had a lot of, lot of fun. I hope y'all had fun watching this. <laughs> Have a beautiful day, and I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>